In this video, we will introduce you to the concept of uploading to a client's CDE directly from Cabinet. In this example, we will illustrate how OpenTree's on-premise WIP environment, Cabinet, can upload Revit sheets seamlessly into Aconex. The first step to take is to assign the sheet in Revit to Cabinet. One benefit of assigning the sheet is that Cabinet can now automatically update the title block. Notice how it has been correctly completed with key areas being the status, revision and purpose. Now, back in the Cabinet client, we will send the file for checking. Once our sheet has been checked, we will then send for review and approval. This is a background process handled by the workflow servers. Users are notified via email at all workflow transitions. Our final step in this section is to review and approve our sheet. Again, notice how the sheet's metadata has been automatically amended and the title block updated. In this last stage change where we approved the file, Cabinet made an automatic upload into the client's CDE, hosted in Aconex. So to illustrate this, we've switched to the Aconex portal website for the client and we're using the search tool to locate our document. We enter the title of proposed site and click search. Our sheet from Revit is available in the search results and you can see its metadata was also imported automatically. If we click through to the file, we can see that the other information was imported at the same point. And when we click the PDF and review its title block, this too is correct, or with no user interaction. It was completed by workflow. The change we'll make next is to share the file for information. You can see in the list view that Workflow has changed the file stage to Shared for Information. Cabinet will automatically maintain the change in status through to the client's CDE in Aconex. If I refresh our search in Aconex, you can see that the metadata has been updated automatically. And if we click through to the file, you can also see that the history of the document is being maintained. Now, if I review the PDF and zoom to the title block, you can see that the metadata changes have been propagated through from the cabinet workflow transition. No other user intervention was required. Typically, the last stage in this process would be to publish for construction record, so we'll do this now. Workflow will update our sheet stage, update its title block, generate a PDF, and also update the client's Aconex system. Back in the Aconex window, I'll refresh our search results. You can see that the metadata changes are complete. Our file is showing with a status of CR, Construction Record Documentation. When we click through to the file, notice that the history has been amended again. It's now showing a new entry. And if we review the PDF, the title block is again updated. The status is correctly recorded as CR, its revision has changed from P01 to C01, and the purpose is recorded as Construction Record. This concludes our brief demonstration on how Cabinet can integrate with your client's systems by way of workflow driving your BS 1192 compliance for delivery.